Here is the here are the wreaths. Oh, beautiful! Wow! You can see this is from the Titanic Society of Atlantic Canada, and this is from my family. This is for my uncles, Alberto and Sebastiano. And these are the Titanic Society of Atlantic Canada colors. I have to turn off my Facebook because I think we're I'm getting an echo. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're All right, Adrian is here. He's over there. Oh, yeah. Hi, Adrian. And we're about to, we are, um, Adrian's putting up a picture of my uncle's pictures in a few minutes and um, we're going to do a little ceremony and then, um, but do everyone, you tell I want people you who you are, Angelica, do you want to tell people who you are? Because this is live on Facebook. Hello, everyone. My name is Angelica Harris. I'm also known as Angelo Locasio in my Italian roots. Mm -hmm. Today we are here to celebrate the Titanic, her crew, her passengers, and the beautiful journey that she wanted to take on Titanic. I mean, uh, the beautiful journey she was about to take on her maiden voyage. This lighthouse here, as you could see, used to belong in a beautiful site. I'm going to show you something. Yesterday, I received a beautiful gift the story of my uncle is in a magazine called Jur Navigator. I want you to see that picture. That was the place of the Titanic Memorial Lighthouse in her, in all her glory. She stood 13 stories high. This is where she is now, everyone, on the street, surrounded. I'm going to bring you around. She is surrounded by nothing else but buildings. Look, nothing else. This is where she stands. Her light, oh, her bar cannot drop to signal the noon hour. Her light cannot shine. We have to move her. We have to move her to the docks. Down there, it's way over there, but that is where the shipyard is. You can't see it right now, but down there. What we want to do is move her down there where she belongs. Put her in her majestic place again, where she could, her ball could drop at noon, signaling the hour for all over the world. Her light can shine as a beacon of hope, a beacon of hope for those who sailed on Titanic and for those immigrants who wanted a better place to live. Yeah. A beacon of hope for those who died on 9-11, who lost their lives for their country, and who were also immigrants and other people from all over the world. And now a beacon of hope for those who have died from COVID-19. They are, this is a humanity that we must, we must commence every way and every how of our hearts. We must bring this to the world. Our Titanic was a great lady. May, she may never have reached her goal here in New York City, but maybe now through the lighthouse, we can bring her back to where she was or where she should have been. Mm -hmm. We could yes. put her lighthouse back to the docks. We could perch a beautiful ship on her on the area we could show people that titanic means something not only did she mean beauty and grace but she meant something for everyone in the world because that's exactly what she was for everyone in the world so here is our lighthouse today let's help her shine everyone um, Adrian and I are planning on doing some fundraising. We're going to be working together to refurbish her. We're going to help bring her back to humanity so that she could become a place of education, a place of hope, and a place so that everyone, everyone in the world could see her shine in her original grandeur, just like the picture 
on the Zoom, on the Zoom meeting. Yes. So I'm going to move back a little farther. I don't want to move too far back because it's, um, it's a lot of traffic around here, of course. But this is where who she, this is where she is. Oh, she's down on the, a, a lighthouse should not be down on the ground like that. No, it shouldn't. She should not be here. When she was first put here, these buildings did not exist. These modern buildings did not exist when she was put here. So now you could see where she was. The Jew Navigator, wow. the Jew Navigator did a beautiful job. I'm sorry if I'm moving the camera. It's okay. She did a beautiful job in the magazine on the lighthouse. I really can't access it too well because I'm on, I'm on the street. Yes. But I'm also proud to say that the story of my uncles is in this is in this magazine this month. Wow. And Gertrude Smith did a do you beautiful want to tell job. Do you want to tell people a little bit about who your uncles are that don't know? My book, my book is Titanic, The Brothers Paracchio, Two Boys in a Dream. The reason why I'm here is because my uncles, Alberto and Sebastiano Paracchio, were crew members on the Olive Cart on the Titanic. They were handsome men. They had a dream of someday having a better life. And unfortunately, just like, just like those who are on the Titanic never attained it. <laughs> That's New York for you. Um, Aaron's here <laughs> yes. from, and he oh. said he's, um, he's giving yes. you a he's shout there. out. Uh, Dave yes. Gardner. Oh, hi, is that Adrian? Just filming. Yes. Um, we'll take the front. This, no, they'll see me here. See? They can see you here too. That's where you need to be seen on the screen. Hi, guys. Oh, we all feel like we're yes. there with you. Yes. Um, Dave was wondering is the proposed location going to be at ground level for people to visit, or do you not have a proposed location yet? Or they might not be able to hear me because it's noisy in New York. <laughs> Hello. I think they're waiting for those ambulances to go by. Oh. Adrian, can you hear me or Angelica? Ah, uh, she's saying a little prayer. She lost her uncles on Titanic. They worked in the kitchen. She wrote a book called The Brothers Caraccio. Oh, there's so many. Oh, look, she's got a picture of her uncles right there. Oh, that's nice, Angelica. Oh, I want to tell you all, this is the first time ever my uncles had a wreath in memorial oh. for them. And this, this is their first, actually it's almost as though they have a grave site because they're with the time that they're with they are with Titanic in her hull. This is why the Titanic is so important to me. Can you show people the plaque that's there? That, that plaque that's um... oh, sorry, sir. That's okay. We're having a memorial here. <laughs> yeah, my uncles were on the Titanic. They were crew members. Yeah. See, that was um, Margaret Brown actually this helped. Adrian Saker, he's the president of the Titanic Memorial Lighthouse. I'm Angelica Harris, and we're doing um, we're doing a memorial on Zoom right now. That's pretty cool. You know, the other day I was seeing the Titanic. I was thinking, yeah. What a lucky person that was that just missed that boat. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Yeah, okay. <laughs> what did he say? He said it's weird. <laughs> Um, thank you very much. Yes, very. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, I am part of New York proudly. Thank you. Peace and love. So he, he's telling me he's telling me he was on the Titanic. Oh, oh. He missed the boat. Okay. <laughs> All right, everyone, we all know what happens on Zoom meetings. We get berated and we're served by people who think they know more than us. But well, we all know actually, the truth. 
This is actually our very first live on the on location Zoom meeting. So this is we yes exciting. we are live in New York City. Oh, uh, Aaron, he said he was on the Titanic. So <laughs> and was very look happy. at the beautiful look at the beautiful um, sashes Adrian is putting on. Oh my God! Isn't it beautiful? Hi, <sighs> I am going to actually. I'm if I'm shaking a little bit right now. I'm going to put my camera down. Wait, can I you answer? Can you answer a question that Dave asked? Um, Dave wanted yeah. to know, is the proposed location going to be at the ground level for people to visit? Or are you guys wanting to put it up high? Are you not sure? What we are, what, all right. What I'm, I know I just, I was just in contact with Helen Benzinger on an email. What we're thinking of is we would love very much if we could put this 13 stories high where she was. But we know, and I'm being very, very, very real here on Zoom, 13 stories high creating a building is maybe un not feasible at this time, which is, now listen to what I'm saying. Okay. It may be better that we, we could do maybe a three, a three or six story building. What I'd like to see in that building is places of education a Titanic Memorial Museum, like Ooh. they have at the foot of the 9-11 Museum. <gasps> New York where needs Where we could have our Titanic pictures, family, crew members, the story of Titanic um, within the circle, within the rotunda. Upstairs on the second floor, maybe do um, a floor in education towards uh, natural disasters. Um, what happens when a tornado hits? What happens when a ship, you know, sinks? What happens at sea? What happens in, you know, on the earth in science, but national with disasters? Right. Then there's another thing too. On the third floor, why don't we do, if we could do an, a floor of um, education for pandemics, how do we stop pandemics? How? Mm -hmm. Let's face it, the iceberg that Titanic hit is, a, is an element of science. Right. Pandemics are elements of science. Germ, warf germ warfare, whatever you want to call it. I don't mean a germ warfare, but I may have used the wrong words. I'm sorry, but we all know what this means, the pandemic. I took my mask off just briefly to talk to everyone, but... And I'm also on the outside far from anyone around me. Right. So I'm quite safe and so are they. But what if we could educate society using the Titanic Memorial Lighthouse as a beacon of hope and a place for education? I mean, what a legacy for Titanic to have. Yes. An amazing legacy, an amazing, amazing legacy of hope. Yes. You know? Yes. And if we... If we can't put her on a 13 story building, then maybe something like this building up here. Yeah. Get her up off the ground. It's like yeah. the lighthouse on the ground. And right. So let her let her be. Let her be high above like that. Yes. Yes. I'm uh, going to put my camera down a minute. You know, okay. Right me. I'm going to black out because I'm putting my hat and gloves on. It's getting a little chilly over here. Okay. Hi guys. Thank you for joining our, uh, our event here. Uh, this is an event going on at the Titanic Memorial Lighthouse, which is located at the South Street Seaport Museum in New York City. Uh, we have got uh, a lot of support for, you know, getting this lighthouse up off the ground. It's sitting on the ground. Um, I don't know if Anyone receives the Atlantic Daily Bulletin, the British Titanic Society has got a fantastic article in there about it. Um, oh, so, maybe I'll, I'll go ahead. Bring it no, back I want to show you, Aiden is working very hard, putting, putting some beautiful ribbons on to represent uh, who we are. Oh my gosh, it's looking so, Adrian, you said? Adrian. Adrian. Tell him I said hi. Tell him we've got, let's see. I'm, I'm He's humbled, but you know, we are, we are 
um, seven people watching. I know at this point right now. Uh, I am very honored to be on scene today. And um, I never thought that when my uncle asked me now 45 years ago to search for his brothers, I had no idea that this is the journey that I would take. I had no idea that when ZMO said to me at 19, Angela, please search for my brothers. Please help me find my brothers. Well, ZMO, I'm saying this to you right now with all my heart. I found your brothers and they came to rest today with this beautiful wreath and here in this memorial for them, for everyone on Titanic. All I have to say is may they rest in peace in the arms of God. May she sail among the clouds, holding her wards tight within her. Oh. For now to heaven's rest, may she fly with the angels oh. and angels guide thee home. Amen. Oh, that's so beautiful. Do you want to tell people a little bit about the project that's going on here? Say that again. I'm sorry. There was some background uh, noise. Let me tell people let me a little bit. My microphone. Oh, okay. All right. Hi. Can you hear me? Yes. Do you all want right. to tell people a little bit about what's going on down here? What the project's all about? What? Right, right now, the lighthouse. Um, right now, with the lighthouse, Adrian is the president of the Titanic Memorial Lighthouse. He is also the founder of the Friends of the Titanic. Um, no, I'm sorry. I believe Helen Bentiger is the is the Adrian. Adrian. Adrian, daughter. <laughs> Adrian is busy over there. Anyway, um, we are. We are here to help bring attention to the lighthouse and to start the proceedings of doing memorials. In April, we will be doing a memorial, memorial again down here. Uh, what we plan on doing is what we plan on doing is doing. Um, I'm sorry, I just got. Um, sorry, I'm putting you Adrian on the spot. Just walked away for a few minutes. <laughs> but what we plan on doing is um, we plan on doing a memorial here in April. We're going to ring the bell for all the Titanic, for everyone who died on the Titanic. We're going to put on the base, as you can see, she's very white. And on that base, we're going to use it as a screen and put pictures up of the Titanic sailing. Of her, of her, what she looked like when she was sinking, and then pictures of um, crew members and family who were on the Titanic. Um, we will let you all know when the date will be. We want to do it on the April fifteenth itself, so we will let you. We will keep you all apprised. But in the meantime, it's getting kind of cold here. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you want to show people the the wreaths that are there right now and um, who who sent them? Can you, you show people the wreaths that are there now and who um, sent them in? Yes. This, so is, this, from, this is a ongoing this project, is from guys. the Titanic Memorial Lighthouse. They're beautiful. This is from your Titanic Book Club. Look how beautiful. Oh, and Adrian made that for us. He's so awesome. <laughs> this is from the Titanic Society of Atlantic Canada. Oh, Hello, Dee, I know you're beautiful. on. I'm hoping. Yes, she is. She's watching. This is from, this is my wreath for my family. So beautiful. Wow. This is from, this is from the Locasio Harris Caracchio family. 
Beautiful. So, oh, I really hope this gives some attention and exposure to the project. I did put a link up by the live stream so people can learn more so about the project. I am going to, I just wanted to make sure I had everything with me. Okay. okay. And thanks for bringing anyway, us there with you. Yes. No, I wanted to make sure I have my the magazine and everything. I am going to say good afternoon and farewell okay. from the Titanic Memorial Lighthouse. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm going, let me give you one more peek at her. Okay. Can you back it up a little bit so they can see the whole thing? Can you I'm see so it? Bossy. Oh, there you go. Yes. Here we go. You, beautiful. When you leave, I'm going to show them up some pictures too from this British Titanic Society magazine. All right. We have here. I'm going to say good night, everyone, right. and thank uh, you thank for attending. You. Thank you for doing bringing us live with you. You're welcome. Say, say goodbye to Adrian. Thank him for all his I will. hard work. Adrian, Adrian, <laughs> and I are going to meet down the block a few minutes. So okay. I will talk, all right. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> all right. Take care. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Oh, she's great. And you guys, this um, is the Atlantic Daily Bulletin. This is put out by the British Titanic Society. And, you know, if you're not a member, become a member just to get this issue because uh, uh, I'll read you the beginning here. Uh, Friends of the Titanic Memorial Lighthouse Restoration, a group including descendants and passengers and crew, descendants of are currently fundraising for the Light Tower's restoration to its original architectural state in partnership with its guardians, the South Street Seaport Museum, and unveiling is proposed for the 110th anniversary of the sinking of the Titanic, April 15, 2022. This restored tower can claim the only working time ball in U.S and be the only working lighthouse in Manhattan. There's no lighthouse in Manhattan right now. Um, I will show you some pictures. You know, they've got uh, Margaret Brown here. See, I have to turn off my uh, background, so, which I don't always know how to do. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I don't know how to do that. Well, I guess I'm not gonna be able to show you pictures, but I will show you the cover because that's not having any, oh, wow, look at my background now. <laughs> I'll show you the book though. Uh, so get this, go to the Memorial Lighthouse page, go to the Instagram for the Titanic Memorial Lighthouse because it's fantastic every Saturday morning. Adrian has been interviewing a researcher or an author or a family member, and it's fantastic. You can go back to the old Q&A sessions. That's 9 a.m. Eastern every Saturday morning. Uh, go to the website that's right here in this live stream and learn more about the project. It's a great project. As I said, Margaret Brown was very instrumental in um, helping to create this memorial. It's really sad that it's down on the ground as Angelica was saying. So I won't take up much more of your time, but thanks for tuning in. Bye.